Placencia cigars. Perfected for more than 150 years. Yours to enjoy now. What's up, Stogie Geeks listeners? Joe Hosemper here, a.k.a. Joe Hollywood, a.k.a. The Italian Styling, telling you about a little giveaway that we have going on. We've teamed up with our sponsor, J.C. Newman, this year to give back to the Stogie Geeks listener. They've been such an awesome partner so far. They've decided to give away one Diamond Crown humidor per quarter to the winner that they choose. All you got to do is log on to stogiegeeks.com forward slash diamond crown. Click on the enter to win button. It's really that easy. So if you're smart and you want an awesome humidor for your home collection, go to our website, stogiegeeks.com. Find that banner ad right on top. Click on it and register to win that humidor. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Story Geeks episode 312. I am your host, Joe Hosampa. I am joined remotely from Texas, home of the slowest internet in the world, Drew. What up? <laughs> Nothing much, brother. Just over here hanging out, enjoying the Story Geeks here at the lounge, uh, hanging out with the guys. We had a, a big purple wave come through starting about a couple of hours ago. Yeah. So that that only can mean one thing. Well, all, all the men of the Vikings are in town. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know how I'm going to yeah. end today's show, Drew? How's that? Two things Two things I'm going to say. Behind every cigar, there's a story worth knowing. Get out there and shop local and visit your local retailers. And also, everything's bigger in Texas except for the Internet. There you go. What yeah. do you think? <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds, that, sounds, that sounds about right. Sounds I don't about know right. Why All right. There you can't... go. <laughs> well, yeah. if you miss uh, Stogie Geeks, if you missed last week's show, you can go to stogiegeeks.com, click on the episode, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, or throw Stogie Geeks into your podcast catcher. Uh, make sure you do that so you uh, don't miss an episode. Also, next week, in our Sticks of the Week segment, Drew and I are going to be taking some time out to talk a little bit about Placencia Cigars and um, give a, 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 a full review and let you know, the Story Geeks listener, where you can get uh, some good deals on some Placentia cigars. So you want to tune in for that for the Sticks of the Week. Anyway, Drew, it's been a quick week yeah. for me here. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. It, 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 this week flew by. Um, but your Sticks, uh, I'm excited about three of them. So that's cool. Can't wait to talk about that. Nice. So uh, you can start with anyone you want to start with. Yeah, we'll tr- we'll go ahead and go with the crown heads, JD uh, Howard Reserve or JD uh, JHR. So, yeah, uh, yeah, good stick. I uh, love the stick. Uh, God, I think I've, I've already gone through a box of these. Yes, uh, man. That's, uh, so I mean, construction, just the look of the stick, uh, just fabulous. Uh, I actually had the uh, the Toro on this one, uh, the fifty uh, five and a half by fifty. They do have a few Vitolas in this, uh, Lancero, uh, Pentanella, Robusto, and the Toro. Uh, these sticks are about 10 bucks, so not, not too bad. They don't break the bank, but you're talking about a good value, uh, an enjoyable stick. Uh, for me, you know, like I said, I, I always do the coffees, and, uh, and I'll, I'll tell you, uh, it's just an fabulous experience the Crown Heads lineup for sure. Mm. Uh, the other one, the other one I'm hooked up on, just just FYI, else is a Tennessee, uh, Tennessee Waltz, I believe it is. Yeah, Tennessee. That's just another stick of mine, another one of my favorites that I've had. Um, I don't know if you have had the chance to enjoy those, but man, oh yeah, uh, stick is fabulous. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Origin on this, yeah, origin on this stick, Dominican Republic, uh, wrapper Brazil, blend uh, the blend, uh, Sumatra, Ecuador. And filler Nicaragua. So, I mean, again, I mean, just, just in that lineup right there just kind of tells you uh, if you get geekish into it, like like we do, uh, lets you know that what, what you're in, what you're in for. So, uh, taste notes on this right off the bat. You got that nice uh, wood uh, come through uh, more on the uh, 
and when I say I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking more in the uh, in the uh, oak factor, uh, uh, and then comes in spice. Uh, spice uh, for me, it, it's 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 just there. It's prep. It's just it's not overpowering, but it's just it's there. Uh, and then of course the uh, the coffee kicks in. So the coffee flavor, coffee bean, uh, for me, it's in uh, nicely. Uh, into the second third, you know, it starts to get in. It starts a little sweetness, and again, I'm, I'm attributing that more to spice more than anything. And I'm going to say that sweetness of the spice is going to be uh, in the cinnamon area, uh, and uh, it's it's just enjoyable. Uh, that second that second third uh, smoke on this is been very. Uh, it's it's not like a big bellowing smoke cigar. Uh, it gives out a nice uh, aromatic. Uh, uh, sweetness of that that spice, and then that leather starts to come through. Uh, that that leather, man. I, you know, again, it's just one of those things I enjoy about this cigar. Uh, it, it's it's dead on. <clears throat> you you don't escape it, uh, and, and you don't want to because <laughs> uh, it just really gives that rich uh, aromatic uh, senses there with the uh, retro hell and the pepper that comes through. Uh, when you start to retro hell this uh, stick uh, towards the, uh, towards the second third and then and then last third, mm-hmm. so uh, I definitely I highly recommend this cigar. I mean this 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 cigar for me uh, again, uh, you know going into it, uh, I actually had a couple of friends that had the Lancero and, and that that definitely uh, uh, the the wrapper that Brazil wrapper really comes through on that's really nice. Uh, Stogie Geeks rating on this one uh, for me is a box split. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, they're about ten bucks. Uh, they're they're not they're not expensive, uh, but with the cigars I'm smoking, uh, I definitely like to box split this one with a few friends of mine, you know, and enjoy the stay of the year. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I I couldn't agree with you more. Um, once you get past the first third of it, the second third retro hail. Like you when 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 if if you don't retro hail. You're, you're gonna start to see some. Co- you're gonna start to taste a little bit of coffee, little bit, uh, maybe some pepper. Um, definitely that woody cedar oak for sure. Uh, once yeah. you retrohale that, that pepper kicks in really nicely. What I've noticed about this stick, it does. <coughs> excuse me. What what I've noticed about this stick is that it's real. It's balanced so well. So. Uh, you know, you can actually have that in the morning um, there, uh, uh, and you can have it in the evening after dinner. You can have it any time. Uh, if you're golfing efficient, uh, awesome portable stick. It's not going to fall apart on you. Construction's awesome. Uh, I am certainly a fan of crowned heads for sure. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I usually retweet some of their stuff uh, on a weekly basis uh, as I'm a personally a fan of the brand. Uh, definitely. Um you know, I, I th- that uh, I like the four kicks a little bit better. Uh, if if we were going, uh, so, yeah. yeah. But um, it's uh, that's a solid box split for sure. Yeah. You know, um, the binder on that was it's a Sumatra, right? Uh, yeah. Sumatra, Ecuador, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the Ecuadorian Sumatra. I think that really kicks in that kind of smoothness. You know what I mean? Usually, usually for me, uh, you start throwing out words in a stick mixed with Nicaragua, Ecuadorian Sumatra, or Honduran, which I've continually saying on that sh- on on this show. Um, Ecuadorian Sumatra or Nicaraguan Honduran combo, Ecuadorian uh, Sumatra with uh, Nicaraguan combo, awesome to retrohale. Uh, and if it's balanced well, uh, it's it's certainly going to get a higher rating for sure. Oh yeah, that was one of my exciting sticks that that you were talking about. So that's <laughs> good. Not not that your other sticks are bad at all. I just oh yeah, I've had that. When I say exciting, I'm like oh wow, I've had that. I totally enjoy it. You know for sure. Um, nice. I have had finally. <clears throat> I was uh, DAV uh, cigars had uh, shipped mm. me their line, so I've. I've uh, only had two of the line. Uh, one I am going to go back to, but the one I am at liberty to talk about is the DAV Prima Natural Robusto. So mm. if you go to DAV Cigars, that's one with the green label. That's if you want to 
Joeify the the cigars. Go to the the green label. It's great, right? Uh, there. Uh, this has a uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. Binder is in Indo- is from Indonesia, and the uh, filler is from the Dominican Republic. It's available in a Fumacorta that is a four by sixty. Um, it's available in a Robusto five by fifty. I had that size. Short Robusto four and a half by fifty two. Robusto Gordo, 5x52. I had that size. Churchill, 7x50. And Presidente, which is 6x60. I don't know how these would taste with the bigger ring gauges. It's the same argument there. Um, I really think that the yeah. flavor's in the smaller stuff, so I'm not going to beat a dead horse with that. However, um, when, when I'm smoking this smoke... Unlike the first one that I tried, and I'm going to review the first one that I tried next week, so I'm going to go back to this one next week mm. to make reference to the one that I'm making through this week. Does that make sense? So I'm going to go that way and then that way mm. and then that way, All right? <clears throat> so unlike the first one I tried, it, it, it really, it, it, it really like, stopped me, and I was like, wow, like, okay, what's going on in here, right? Uh, balanced well. I got a little bit of a cedar taste, uh, but it did have, like, a, like a zestiness to it, like a, like, um, mm. uh, you know, like a freshness. Uh, from the yeah. amount of smoke. What I did notice that when you're taking on an inhale, and keep in mind, most of my stuff is usually bullet cut anyway, so I did bullet cut it. Uh, it I got a lot of smoke on the palate, so it's like, wow, if you were to guillotine this thing, I don't know what oh, your yeah. experience, like you, get, like, like you get a lot of smoke on the palate, which some people like, some people don't like, I don't like or dislike, I'm just making an observation. Yeah. From that, you get a spicy aroma. Because obviously it's producing a lot of smoke, right? Uh, there, but but I don't know. I, I get I get like a little bit of zest in there, uh, some sweetness towards the end, and towards the end, man. I don't know if it's the bullet cut because you know from all the, maybe the tar build up and whatnot t- t- towards the end. But yeah. I'm starting to get a leather component. I would imagine that if I guillotine cut that or straight cut for for, for the newest story geeks listeners. Uh, I probably wouldn't have picked up that component. What I did notice that is what I smoked from it, all of the nuances of that stick was subtle. Nothing was ever in your face for me. It was just subtle. It wasn't bad subtle. It was just subtle. So it's like, oh, you know, you. I, I had to really slow down my smoking to really try to see what the cigar was, was trying to do. Um, I would <laughs> give it a, uh, it's, got, it's got a good price point. Uh, there and I would give it a, a a solid box split for sure. Yeah, yeah that that zest that comes in on that cigar. I've had that cigar. I haven't haven't got to the rating part of it me or reviewing part for me, but that that zest part. Um, yeah, I was trying to put my finger on that, and it was a I was, you know is it a lemon zest? Is it an orange zest? Is it? I mean that 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 Indonesian butter that's in there. Uh, definitely kicks off that zest. So I know you exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, uh, and and palate. and I and I know I was gonna say and I I guillotine cut my cigars most of the time. Yep. Um, I went from uh, I went from a, a, a V cutter to a guillotine just because I got this new toy. So okay, I've been playing with it and see how see how well it stays stays together. Yeah, I I, I have <laughs> a Zycar in uh in my little uh, handy dandy cigar caddy travel yeah. whatever. I have a Zycar cutter. Yeah, never use uh, guillotine. Never use it. I use my my yeah. f- friggin' two dollar friggin' bullet cut thing. Yeah. And I don't know. I'm 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 a label peeler, bullet cutting, guitar picking smoker. I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's it. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, but yeah. Yeah. But I agree. I agree with. I agree with that on that on the, on, the, on that uh, as as a uh, box split. But yeah, it's a it's a great. It's a great. I've, 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 like I said, I've, I've, I'm in my third one now. Yep. And I'm gonna give it a couple more, more just to really give it, you know, yeah, see where it, where it lands for me on my palate. In regards sure. to strength, just final note, it, it it does bear on the medium side. I'm sorry, on the mild side for sure. So it's just a mild cigar. So if you come across them and you seek them out, you check them out. DAV cigars. Uh, give it a box split. Super cool. You know, if I were to rate the other one, like if I were to rate them in the same episode, the other one would not be as high. But I want to figure out what it was. I want to. Yeah. I, I think it was the size because I had a bigger size. Oh, okay. And then this one in specific, I went to the robusto and I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. But you know, there you go. Yeah. Gotcha. 
So my next stick, I'm going to talk about an old, uh, an oldie, uh, Romeo and Juliet. I, I haven't really endeavored in these too much, but I got it as a gift. Somebody bought me a box. So I'm like, Hey, I'm not going to turn it down. They bought you a box waste, of bullies. So. They must. I, I, I love Romeo and Juliet at bullies. <laughs> Yeah. Who got you a box so, of bullies? Someone yeah. you know, like someone close to you or someone in the industry? How'd yeah, that of, happen? No, one of my members, one of our uh one of our lounge members, uh drew uh it was just uh kind of like a congratulations, uh Stoey Geeks and and other men that I'm on. So they 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 asked me to try, you know, to 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 endeavor into the classics. Yep. So here I am. So here I am. So yeah, I got the eighteen seventy five bully robusto, five by fifty. It's a six buck stick. I mean, all day long. I mean, that's an OG it's, it's, stick, I mean, man. That's like yeah, that's like twenty yeah. years ago, man. Rocking that stick, like straight up, right. like rocking that stick all the time. And that's what this that's what this client or this 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 uh, lounge member told me. It was like, you know, you you know, you guys have been talking about classic taste things of that nature. Uh, let me let me you know here. I want you to have this box and I want you to enjoy it. So, yeah, uh, Dominican Republic uh, rappers, Indonesian. And the binder Dominican and filler Dominican. So this this cigar again, I mean, nice cigar, nice presentation. Uh, uh, not, not not too. It wasn't too coarse, and and you know, it had a little little, vein, little bit of a veininess to it. Uh, but they, they you could tell that they've been sitting a while too because it, the 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 little oil on the on the on, on the uh, on the body of the cigar. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, once I got this baby fired up and got it toasted and got it fired up. Uh, the leatherness uh, and the nutty uh, started to come through really nice. I mean, just really nice. And, you know, I, I haven't gone, you know, really into the classics cigars, but man, I mean, as, as I'm smoking the cigar and I've smoked about uh, nine of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nine, <coughs> nine of them down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah, this, this thing is just really like, I really, I mean, I really love it. I mean, it's just, it's really a good cigar. Uh, so, uh, er, uh, you know, earthy, uh, leather, uh, came through, uh, a little bit of cedar, cedar uh, yeah. For sure. uh, yeah, on the cigar and, and that cedar is there, uh, throughout the cigar. Yep. So it, it's really nice to, to have that there, uh, a little bit of sweet grass on the second half, uh, and, and, uh, man, uh, on the retro, mm, God, the cigar really, really, uh, gives you that experience of, uh, of uh, uh, pepper uh, for sure, but not. It, I want to call it like almost like a uh, kind of a white pepper border in the white pepper, or more or less. Uh, so it wasn't like really, really, you know, like hitting me hard uh, on the red, but it it was definitely was there. Uh, the, the, on the on the last third, the pepper returns uh, a little bit more uh, prevalent, and then uh, and then a sweet spice uh, one as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so I gave I gave this thing I gave I gave this cigar a uh, so geeks rating of by one, uh, because again I, I mean a lot of people you know when I talk to people about the cigar, uh, uh, that are cigar smokers, uh, they're like oh wow you know I haven't that in years and and I remember it as a you know are they uh, yeah I remember it as a uh, a a, good, a great cigar and then a lot of as far as that. The bully uh but yeah uh six bucks i mean you can't go wrong and this thing is very nice constructed uh nice easy burn uh smoke was there i mean definitely uh uh smoke is there uh as you're drawing uh when you put it down it doesn't smoke as much but when you draw it, it does get smoky uh uh you know uh airy <laughs> yeah <laughs> you gave smoke. it a try so, one you gave it a try one i gave it a I gave it a try one. Yeah. Really? I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. You know, a lot of these people that I talk to, a lot of them are into the boutiques and uh, a lot yeah. of them are into the, I tell them, I said, and I, and I tell them, I said, you know what, try this cigar and I guarantee you no box splitting box, you know, bu buying a box yourself. They're not bad. I mean, price point is awesome on these, and you can pick them up pretty much anywhere. I yeah. mean, I went online, checked them out here in Texas, uh, of course online, you can pick them up for sure. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you walk into some of the, uh, retailers out here, they're not always there. Yeah. So, uh, definitely go out and search for it, try one, you know, and, and, and then from there you'll be hooked. Yeah. I, I, I agree with a lot of what you're saying, uh, other than the rating, but then again, that's why the Drew sticks and not Joe sticks. Right. Um, <laughs> the bully, 
the bully is definitely an uh, OG stick, no question, right? And you bring up a, a, a extremely mm-hmm. valid point. Try going to a local retailer and and finding one of these, right? You could literally drive all day and and <laughs> not not be able to find one, right? You you wouldn't be able to find one because you know it's it's it, it's that old and that classic of a stick. When when I saw it come through as your sticks of the week, I was like, wow. I was like one of those things, like even when I was reviewing the list, like we discussed on our first segment, I'm like, oh, man, like totally sure. forgot about that cigar. Like, you know, wow. Like, you know, yeah. because as consumers, we walk into a humidor, 100 face-ins, 60 face-ins, 400, for whatever, depending on whatever your shop is. You go online, yeah. thousand something face-ins. The market's flooded. You know what I mean? Yeah. The market's flooded. And right. it, it, it probably sales-wise does phenomenal still. It's just at the retail yeah. level, um, them, maybe like us, they focus on a lot of what's new. And um, one yeah. thing, um, when was it? It wasn't last Friday. It was the Friday before. No, yeah, because I, I, I had Medicine Head last, last Friday, right? So, no, yeah. no, no. We, two Fridays ago. Yeah, it was the last show. Two Fridays. Yeah, two that's weeks, right, because we didn't do Story Geeks last week. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, last, no, so we didn't do Story Geeks la- last week. So last Friday, I, I, I scooted out because we didn't do Story Geeks, so I scooted out of work, went to um, a local retailer, and – uh, a gentleman from California just happened to be in the retail shop and like meeting strangers in the cigar shop, we start smoking and, and he starts telling me, you know, and the owner's, you know, he's like, oh, you know, do you know anything about cigars? He's like, oh, we'll just ask Joe. So I was just BSing with him and getting to know what he liked. And he wanted a Dominican cigar. And I went into the wow. smoke shop, right? He's like, you have anything like Dominican, I, you know, uh, Dominican, you know, he's like, I'm not into this, like, I'm not into this new phase of these of these these boutiques, and I was like, sure. And he was an older gentleman, and I was like, yeah, sure. So I said, well, let's take sure. a walk in the humidor. I look in the humidor, and I'm like, he has like freaking eighty percent Nicaraguan origin cigars in this place. You know what I mean? And so <laughs> it, again, it, it it it's testament that the shop owner is going to put it there with sales and what goes through and what people are asking for. And again, they're not, and, and yeah. it's a testament. So uh, I'm glad you brought that up that, you know, because it, it relates to my story of last week when I just met a complete stranger and I could not find a cigar to meet his profile. So yeah. I gave him a chata rope. Told him, it's a little stronger. Right. It's a little stronger Chatter- than Dominican. You'll yeah. love it. You know what I mean? And he actually ended up enjoying <laughs> it. But again, it was like it was a testament of 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 proving the point that some of those old school Dominican stuff are just not around. And you take Romeo and Julieta, oh, no. like Romeo and Julieta, in my opinion, had subsided, not not completely fell off, but subsided on the retail side when they tried to do that Nicaraguan. Romeo and Julieta, and it didn't yeah. go. It didn't. It didn't work for him. You know what I mean? Again, which is a testament of the right. boutiques. Most of the stuff that we review here, and even if you take our reviews, they they have a Nicaraguan component in them. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We something, but it's something that we should pay attention to here. If we're yeah, if we're getting sticks, you know what I mean. If you have a chance to review something that's not Nicaraguan, you might want to bump it up to the top of the list. You know. Yeah, I got some. I got some. I got some friends that are you know ten years older than I am, a decade older than I am. I'm I'm fifty, and and these guys are in their sixties, and and they're bringing me stuff that I I haven't. I mean, I've I've seen it, I've heard about it, yeah. and they're bringing me things to, to to try and 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 to expand my my classical the classical cigar yeah. facings for yeah. sure. Yeah. And so yeah, I got a I got a good uh, uh, you know good friends here that. Are, are doing that. And a lot of them were telling me that they're like, don't find them here in Dallas, North Dallas or any of the cigar shops here. You'll find these on the outline, uh, where we live at, you know, and some of these guys live 40, 50 miles out of, out of the Dallas metropolitan area. Yep. And so, you know, the smaller, you know, uh, uh, cigar shop and a smaller population in the town, uh, they still got the old Indian, you know, uh, wooden Indian sitting out, in the front of the store nice and and it's a, and it's a real one <laughs> yeah, so, yeah 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 so that's, that's pretty, pretty cool that's one thing i do miss enjoy about. that venture for that, sure yeah bring up the point of of what i miss about the industry 
in our first segment when we were talking with with Dan Davidson. Um, yeah. That's one of the things I miss about about the industry. One of the things that I'd like to see more of in the future to bring some of that stuff mm-hmm. back. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, yeah. we, we were talking the nostalgia. about nostalgia. Yeah. Well, well, we were talking about Drew Estate in in the beginning of um, of the segment or during the segment, the beginning part of of uh, of the segment with Dan and. You know, like like Drew carried that old school feel in the roots, and I'm not saying we need to get back to our roots, and every shop needs to have a wooden ninny in front of it. But like, I don't know. Like, right. I, we, I, I was talking today. I went I went next door to get my Bloody Mary for the first segment, and I ran into an old, old customer who was at another shop that we used to go to, and um, mm. you know, he was talking about uh, today is the anniversary of his dad's pa- of of his dad passing. And like and like mm. I, you know, gave him a hug, uh, you know, talk, talk to him. And, and, you know, I was like, you know, I remember having a cigar with his dad and all that stuff. And, and Saturday we're coming up on the anniversary of my father. And, you know, it, it's like it's like mm. one of those things where he's like, re- now, remember, they, they got we're, we're sitting in a cigar shop. It's got Kino. I don't know if you have Kino where you guys are. It's a lottery thing. Right. It's like a, you could pick yeah, the numbers yeah. and whatnot. They got Kino. You got politics on sports, all the t- you got TVs. All those are freaking sports bar and then he's like you remember when we used to sit down in 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 a cigar shop and i had a carpet and we were sitting on like bar stools or milk crates and just hanging and smoking for hours and all we had was like a transistor radio and i was like man i miss those days like i miss those days of talking to someone like i was at an event last night and like i'm talking to someone and these are guys who who are the super cool guys Right, uh, Anthony and Aaron, they used to follow me on Cigar Club Radio. Uh, they used to like it when I was on the radio better than Stogie Geeks. Uh, they they say it was more convenient <laughs> for them to listen to me. I don't know how it could be more convenient sure. than other than a podcast, but anyway, right? Uh, you know, and 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 I'm talking to them, and like they're like talking to me like this, like almost like I'm talking to you now, like watching TV. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. <laughs> it's like it's like. Yeah. Fucking turn that shit off, bro. You're talking to me, you know. But anyway, all right, I'm, I'm or, I, or like, <laughs> or no, or like, or yeah. like this with their devices. Yeah. Well, I'm like, yeah, that. I do. I'm like, you know, in it. I'm like that when I got my little daycare app over here. You know what I mean? I'm waiting for, you know, every time right. the phone vibrates, I'm like one of those things. When they do a camera shot, make sure that my son's being good. You know. <laughs> but yeah. um, I remember, I remember back in the day when I used to, I used to go with my dad to like some of the local. Uh, in LA or in Los Angeles, where I grew up at, yep. uh, there was a, my dad. My dad had some great cars. Now we we owned a liquor and deli store uh, in, in Orange County, and then we would just like at night he would like pick me up, and we would drive to his old Irish uh, pub hangout. <laughs> and in there, I mean, these guys were smoking these big, you know, big cigars. Well, back then when I was about twelve, it was a huge cigar, and and like you said, I mean, carpet, you know, vinyl seats and just yeah. this, this, all the big glass ashtrays and, and they had the small box, uh, you know, up in the corner and, and, uh, but these guys would sit around and enjoy the, the their smokes for sure. And, yeah. uh, there was the old cigarette and, you know, down the, down the hallway to the bathroom. Yep. Uh, yep. So yeah, it was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I definitely missed the, the, the those days, uh, there. That's one thing I'd like to see to see back is is one of the craziest shops I've been to um and spent a lot of time at in Dedham, Massachusetts. It was called Courthouse Cigars. Uh it was on Main Street mm-hmm. in Dedham. And when it's small tiny place. I mean it six hundred square feet, maybe, maybe eight hundred square feet. Yeah. You know, humidor, yeah. you walked in, you had all humidor. So it was like a, a you walked in uh, it was an old, old building, so you had a humidor on the row, humidor on the row, and then humidor there. And then in there, yeah. he had a snifter of whatever was there. It was BYOB, but it was a snifter and yeah. a couple of glasses in the back room. And it was a snifter on a, a table, like a high-top stand table, and that was it yeah. with, with no seats. And you'd have 30 guys there on a Saturday for four hours just hanging and – BS and and, yep. and and the class yeah he was into classic tunes and in, in cars so you know you had yeah. like old school either Sinatra or some some fifty style something over there just hang in and people would bring their classic cars because it was on Main Street in Dedham so they line them up and hang and it just like it's like we've had like best times yeah. over there you know what I mean oh yeah super cool yeah, all sure. right sticks of the week yeah. that's why I vented enough about the industry I've had the Alberto <laughs> Fluente Rosado. <laughs> 
eight five eight. Mm. Oh, yeah. I cannot say enough about this stick. This stick was I, I've known this stick existed. Um, this stick. Uh, and what piqued my interest and stemmed my interest getting back into this stick was when I went on a security conference with Paul Azadorian uh, in blah, it was August, and uh, we had these. And that's when, if you go back on the story, he's talking about the back room episode when you know we we wanted them and yeah. we missed it by a week, but then when they started seeing us hanging and drinking, oh, they found the box, you know what I mean, <laughs> type thing. Yeah. Uh, I finally had it. <laughs> I finally had it to, to rekindle. Uh, it was the Arturo Fluente uh, Sun Grown uh, Rosado 858 uh, 2018 edition. Its size is a 6 and 1 fourth by 47. Your wrapper is Ecuadorian Sun Grown. Binder is non disclosed. Filler is from the Dominican Republic. Hey, we have a Dominican Republic cigar. Awesome. Right? Um, that, that, that was not intended for me to say what I said because I was introducing. That just worked out that way. Um, right, right. You know, uh, I've uh, – box worthy. Like nothing to say but box worthy. Find a box, get a box, save a box, keep a box if you're a keeper. Smoke 10 in a row or, to, you know, smoke them, smoke them in a row. Uh, they're available in 20-count boxes. Smoke 20 in a row. Whatever you got to do. Uh, I've actually mm. put an APB out locally for the cigar shops here, and I says I want I want a box, and I'm getting calls, and and I'll be getting a couple of boxes in to 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 fill the humidity. I've got here. Uh, I've got a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a box. <laughs> just a box. <laughs> somebody, yeah, somebody, oh, just a box. somebody found this box. Oh, I got yeah, you. just a box. <laughs> You're right, right, right. Gotcha. Yeah, and when you find. When you find these cigars, you just load those cigars into this box. It's a beautiful. I like the box. It's beautiful. I put it on my mantle, so I, I like it. And that's. Uh, but they were telling me, yeah, when you get these, when you find these cigars, just put them in there. That'll be that special cigar for that box. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, so. yeah. There's no question. This, I, I mean, what can I say? Uh, you, you're gonna get a sweetness. You're gonna get a little bit of earth from that sun grown. You're gonna get mm. towards uh, as you first start, you get a sweetness, you get a tobacco combo, sure, and then as you start mm -hmm. smoking it, you're gonna get like a little bit of that saltiness coming through, um, cedar uh, that I think is 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 a really mm -hmm. strong component from a, a Dominican uh, a, a cigar. You know, you, you kind of get that 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 classic tobacco uh, cedar. Got a little bit of saltiness towards the end. I mean, I I nubbed this thing and did not want this thing to end. Uh, at all, right? Um, you know, uh, I was told to save it uh, for full reference for when Paul's back on the show and we're gonna do a taste test. Well, that didn't happen, so right. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you I, can't wait. I, I, I can't wait. I was like, and the funny thing is, I've been staring at this thing <laughs> since August. So the fact that I waited, yeah. I think we went in like August sixth or something like that. I don't remember the day. It was the beginning of August. So the fact that I waited yeah. all of August, all of September. In all of October, I was like, I'm not waiting yeah. no more. And that's the way it goes. And 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 I had it. Uh, you, you got a little bit of espresso, some cocoa, toast. It's just an amazing, oh, yeah. amazing stick. Go out there and get them. Box worthy all day long. Um, yeah, that was just to recap for those of you who are listening so you don't get a Listen to my rant and then say, "What stick was he talking about?" Because that scatterbrain person is is giving a thing. So Arturo Fluente eight five eight Rosado Sun Grown. Get some if you can. Oh, yeah. Ship some the twenty four Quaker Lane Unit G. Attention, Joe Hosempa. <laughs> <laughs> Walk Rhode Island zero two eight eight six. There you go. Go ahead. What's the uh, next stick? There you go. And when you ship some to him, make sure you put my name on the least. Two of those, please. There you so, go. I'm getting on some of this game. Somebody will probably be like, Joe, what's Drew's email again so I can email him the sticks? I, I like him better. <laughs> 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 so my next stick, I, I went, I went into, I uh, went into the uh, Drew Estate Underground mm. Shady Twenty, you know, box press Bellicoso. It's eleven dollars stick. Yep. And uh, it, uh, yeah, uh, beneath it's uh, beneath a deep. Uh, I got this from their site. Uh, beneath a deep. Mexican San Andrea wrapper. San Andrea's mm -hmm. wrapper uh, lies a Connecticut Habano binder and fillers from Nicaragua and Brazil. 
Uh, this was a five by fifty uh, box press Bellicoso, yep. and it, it does bring a full body. Yes. Uh, Nicaraguan uh, sand wrapper, uh, binder Habano, and uh, filler uh, Brazilian Nicaraguan. So, yeah, this here. I mean, I mean, I mean, I just I, again, just just the bands. Uh, looking at the stick, it's a beautiful looking stick, mm-hmm. and 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 uh, a little oil, a little sheen to it. Yes, it wasn't too high, and uh, it so, almost yeah, has this, this glitter stick, uh, on it. Like like sparkles. The the it's yeah. one of the, it's one of the very few sticks. The Nat Shermans do do, do, do this too. The old school Nat Shermans. Yeah. The 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 Nat yeah. Sherman Connecticut. They have a sparkle to them. Now I'm not talking yeah. like stripper sparkle, but if there were uh, that version <laughs> for a cigar, like it, right? Am I right or am I wrong? It sparkles. No, you're right. Like it yeah, sparkles definitely. in the freaking daylight. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, this cigar, like I said, very nice, uh, good body, good construction. Uh, you know, fired the stick up, uh, toasted the foot, got got through it, uh, and then started to hit the notes of chocolate off, you know, right off there after my second, no, third draw. Uh, started to hit that little notes, uh, got into the earth and uh, leather. Uh, this this stick, I mean, just it, you know, it, it does smoke. I mean, this stick smokes so. Uh, make sure you're not in your wife's house or <laughs> and I say that because my wife goes I can see the smoke just waffling through the air and it's coming around the house it stays it's coming right, right 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 <laughs> yeah yeah and she's like well you can you go out can you move this garden chair further out so yeah so this thing smokes pretty good I mean you know uh, and, uh, she wasn't that bad about it but <laughs> I got you I'm not- uh, but, it's good that you're yeah, it, it I think smokes. it's great. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and, you know, and then the second, third, uh, that's when I, I always, I, I start to end, uh, do my retros on, on my cigars, my, my repertory weight until about the second, third, just so I can start to really hone in on some of the, the, the hidden gems in there. And definitely this thing had some pepper. <laughs> yeah. And, and when I mean, when I mean some pepper, I mean, it, it really kicked up uh, a notch. And uh, uh, so for me, this, this stick started to really transition together uh, you know, in the second third uh, with all those previous flavors, uh, a little bit of espresso as well was in there. Um, and then, and then the, the pepper was uh, very prominent uh, in, in the showing uh, after, after the retro for sure. Uh, and then, uh, but yeah, this stick for me was, a, I gave it a Stogie Geeks rating of a Bakley. Um, I think this is a cigar that I can share with a lot of people who are are not familiar with uh, Drew Estates, uh, you know, brands. Uh, I mean, they're they've been to his brands, but they've probably been like in the uh, fat bottom Betty, you know, uh, area. And so when I introduced this stick to a couple of my friends lately, uh, they're like, "Oh wow, this is a this is a graduation, you know, from." This. And so uh, uh, a lot, like I said, a lot of pepper. It'll kick you in the gear for sure. Uh, but not to the point where it's so overpowering that you got to just kind of like ease up on it. Uh, so yeah, box worthy for me. Mm. Eleven dollar stick. Yeah, yeah. Shady in collaboration Had with this stick? with yeah. with the with the hip hop. So definitely. Yeah. Paul, Paul Paul is it Paul Rosenberg? Uh, yeah. Uh, Slim Shady's uh, or uh, Eminem's uh, manager at the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they they were in cahoots together with Drew Estates to to stick out there and it's been around um so but uh this is the 20th year uh uh, uh anniversary of that stick it's uh, 20th year of that early. stick yeah wow i think it's a, is it 20 I'm yeah the, I yeah it's been 20 years wow yeah it's been 20 wow. years so that well you we were talking about that with dan earlier about you know the new, <laughs> right? new state sticks yeah wow. and uh yeah i mean it's, yeah i remember i remember listening to eminem way back then mm. and yeah when when you look at it now it's like wow and his like his his kids are grown up and mm. you know he's on to other things other products and things of that nature but yeah mm. yeah you look back and go oh my god 20 years ago i was i was 29 mm. so yeah that was a crazy time oh yeah 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 it's yeah. shady yeah that was that's that's <laughs> the, uh, a record but we, we listened to all sorts of music here behind the scenes at Security Weekly and Story Geeks, and and uh, yeah, they they come up uh, classic, classic. Oh, yeah. We can do a whole hip hop segment on Story Geeks, I'm sure. Johnny would have to sit <laughs> on that. He's a huge hip hop fan, uh, one of our producers. Uh, anyway, 
Um, yeah, uh, how do they get that stick to sparkle? Is is amazing. It, it, it legit sparkles. Um, that's yeah. your your uh, slim shady stick over there by Drew Estate, the Undercrown Shady. Um, and you gave it a box worthy. Was that your final? I yeah, I gave yeah. it a box worthy. Yeah. Uh, I, like I said, that cigar, I, I, you can share this with others uh, as well, uh, and, and they won't be intimidated by the cigar. Uh, it, it, like I said, it, it's got the sweetness, the, the earthiness of it, the leather. It's got great aroma, uh, great smoke. Uh, I know a lot of the people that uh, the people that I'm introducing cigars to in my circle. Uh, they're, you know, they're, they're they want that. You know, they see these photos of people with the smoke, and so they're like, yeah, you know. I, I want to try that. And I'm like, okay. So, you know, I'll give them one of the mix uh, to go there with. And, of course, quite a few other ones. <laughs> That'll do that. That'll do that yeah, for sure. The, have that experience. Yeah, I, I have that experience with that. Yeah. I had the uh, Caldwell Blind Man's Bluff Maduro. Um, mm. it, pff, extremely high nicotine content on this smoke. That's <laughs> the, If you are new to smoking, uh Try the regular Caldwell Blind Man's Bluff <laughs> before you try mm-hmm. the Caldwell Blind Man's Bluff Maduro. Um, in regards to wrapper binder filler of this stick, your wrapper is a uh, USA, Pennsylvania Maduro. Your binder is Sumatra, and your filler is, hey, Dominican Republic. What are you going to do? Right, right. Um, I had a, uh, the five by fifty size, the robusto. Uh, this came out. Um, it came out in April of nineteen, but you know, uh, I, it debuted. It was one of the sticks on the list at the IBCPR show. Uh, mm-hmm. There, it's in mm-hmm. regular production. Um, it, it's available in three different sizes. Uh, you have a five by fifty. You have a six by fifty and a six by sixty. I could not imagine smoking the 6x60 because let me tell you something. The first thing I noticed of the stick when I lit it up, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, like, like it's, it's, it's here. Like, I was like, okay. And then <laughs> that first inch, I, I, I'll be honest. I, I really struggled um, to get through the nicotine content of that cigar. It was very, very strong uh, on the palate. Uh, it took two thirds of it to 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 settle down. Um, so so yeah. it, it's just a rowdy stick. Like it's just it's just rowdy. It's in your face. Um, I didn't expect it to be that rowdy. You know, coming from Dominican, right? Uh, that Pennsylvania Maduro must have really uh, made it happen for sure. Um, and again. Most of the flavor does come from the wrapper, so that would probably be my educated guess uh, as as to the uh, as to that batch of the Pennsylvania Maduro that they had. But man, I mean, you had pepper and wood, and if you retrohale, I've never don't think I've ever said this before. If you retrohale, you're gonna get chili pepper. Not red pepper, not white pepper, <laughs> not subtle pepper. You're gonna get chili pepper. Um, it's it's just really strong. Um, and for me wow. and my palate, I did not enjoy it until the last one third of it. So I had to get through almost half of it to re- to, to 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 get through it. You know what I mean? It just didn't mm. settle down for me. Um, I'm going to try a bigger yeah. size uh, to see if if because again. With that combo, that with that Pennsylvania leaf there, uh, maybe the Sumatra on the bigger size would tone it down. I won't be trying the 60 ring gauge, but I'll be doing the 5 by 50 Or did I have the 5 by 50 yeah. Hold on. I'll be doing the, uh, f- yeah, I'm sorry, the 6 by 50 as opposed to the 5 by 50 And 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 I think it would settle down ju- just a scotch, but... Uh, but those are my takeaways from the stick. That being said, I gave it a try one. I mean, if you want something yeah. strong and if you retrohale and want chili pepper, give it a try um, there. Um, mm-hmm. I can't use the new excuse like, you know, oh, it recently came out like in July and, and I've had it in August. You know what I mean? Like I've had it in right. in late October. I'm trying to think of where, what date it was. Yeah, I've had it in yeah. late October. Um 
Matter of fact, it sticks out to me so much. I know I had it on a Tuesday in late October. <laughs> mm. So you you can pick one of the two dates, and it wasn't the Halloween. It was the Tuesday before, not before Halloween, that week before on that Tuesday, whatever calendar date that was. Don't ask me how I know that because it right. just it just sticks in my head. It's a significant. It's significantly different. I gave it a try one. I'm going to, like I said, have the bigger size and see if it settled down. If not, I'm going to be going on a hunt to find out what else is a Pennsylvania Maduro because that is a strong smoke. Like yeah, yeah. S- stronger stronger on the first half, not the whole stick, but strong on the first half than some of your double heroes. Wow. It's different. So the so it's just the different. FDL uh, double uh the double digger was that was it any 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 uh Anything simil- uh, similar? Similarity? Or- no, no. Yeah. Like, like, like the double digger. I can, I can smoke in the morning, yeah. uh, even on yeah. an empty stomach with the coffee, and and enjoy it. Um, there, yeah. the double digger uh, for you story geeks. That's that. That's the LFD. Uh, I'm only picking that because yeah, the yeah. double Lajero usually rings a bell of it could be strong. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, for some of the newer yeah. listeners, but no, nah, it just, it just, it's just strong. It's different and strong. Mm. You know, um, yeah, and they do well. My, they do well in the shop. I mean, Caldwell Bl- Blinds Man's Bluff did did very well in the shop. So I could see where mm. some of those. But see, most consumers reach for that sixty ring gauge. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if they reach for yeah. that sixty ring gauge, they might not get that chili. If I were to do yeah. the sixty ring gauge, like you know, if we we're doing a promo and they wanted to do that. Uh, there, then yeah. I had, and I had it, then yeah. But you know, if I'm gonna reach for something, I'm gonna reach for a robusto or a toro. And and again, yeah. when I did, uh, I noticed it being strong. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, you definitely have to go down that 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 hike and try that sixty ga- uh, ring gauge one. I, I know, and I'm gonna tell you right now, or uh, share with you now, is that you know, with me, like on on the Neanderthal, uh, Skip Martin's uh, Neanderthal. Mm. Uh, you know that one right there is like. <clears throat> It's my favorite. I mean, you talk talking about strong strength. Uh, you're talking about the nicotine. Fur. I mean, I love that cigar, so I'm definitely going to have to try this one. I'm, uh, but I'm going to try. I think I'm going to try that. You just uh, that we're talking about now is uh, I'll try that in that 60 ga- uh, ring gauge and then and then work it down to that. Uh, I, I would imagine it would sure. be a little bit more subtle. It's it's yeah. a it's a little firecracker. Uh, as a robusto for me, and and like I ate, it's not like I had a like I I had uh, a it was in the afternoon, you know, and I had it. The shop I had picked them up. I'm like, oh, they had a material. Yeah, that's right. It got released. IPCPI. You got them in. That's cool. Let me try it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and uh, you know, cause yeah. I I like Caldwell. You know, I like some 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 yeah. stuff by Caldwell. Uh, I like some of their yeah, Otzi yeah. rear stuff a little bit better, but then the Blind Man's Bluff, but mm. but the Blind Man's Bluff, um, you know. I, I like I said, I'd give it a try one. It's all good. That's yeah. my opinion. Awesome. Let me know what you think. Man, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna have to get me one of those. Do you have you, you have called on your section, right? In your neck of the woods. We do. We do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we have them. We have them in stock. I was uh, I was texting him quick. He's like, "Yeah, we got those." I'm like, "Okay." So I'm about to get me some of those before I leave here today. Cool. So my next stick got into Joe was the Monte Cristo Media Noche in yeah. Mundo. Five by fifty-five, twelve-dollar stick, uh, Dominican Republic, uh, uh, Connecticut broadleaf, Dominican Republic binder, and then uh, filler, Dominican Republic, uh, Dominican, uh, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian. So that was that right there. That just the, that filler. I needed, me. To, I needed to go in this stick. Yeah. What's that? The Peruvian yeah. excites me. I'm dying to hear your opinion on that. Oh one. yeah. Yeah. So that 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 right there is why I went. Went ahead and said, "Okay, I'll take." Uh, I got a friend of mine called him up and said, "Let's let's get a let's get a box." It's like, all right, so we got a box of these. Uh, man, are you talking about a a box that? Uh, trust me, the next box I go with uh, on this one, I'm going going solo. So I did give it a so geeks rating of a body, and I'll tell you why. Of a the what? Notes on of this, a what? I'm, you broke up there for a second. Of a what? 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 What was yeah, the rating? Yeah, I, I get. Yeah, I gave it a so geeks rating of a uh, box worthy. Okay, box worthy. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I'm not gonna share these. <laughs> really? So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna hoard these. Yeah. I'll, uh, notes on this one was cocoa. Man, I mean, just right off the bat, 
Uh, and this car, it's, it's just a beautiful cigar as well. You know, nice construction, burn nice, and even all the way through. I uh, didn't have any, I didn't have to relight it once. Once. Uh, to go yell at the dog a little bit and then uh, came back and got back on it. Uh, yeah, cocoa came through nice, the leather, uh, uh, nice rich aromas. I mean, this stick had what's hitting all the senses. I mean, from the tip uh, uh, of my tongue palate to all the way to the back side of it, uh, you definitely can you can, can uh, separate the, uh, the, the little bit of saltiness, a little bit of the sweetness, and then also the rich uh, 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 and, and, and leather, uh, for sure. Mm. And then, uh, towards the second third of that, uh, I, I started to get a little bit of coffee undertones, uh, for sure. And then, and then I started to kick more. So I, I graded this one more in the uh, espresso, uh, uh, arena more than coffee or, you know, uh, coffee bean. Uh, it was more on the espresso notes for me. And then uh, again, the, uh, uh, started to get like a little bit of the nut. So again, there was a little bit of salty saltiness factor there and then it turned sweet. So, uh, and so it, it started to go through that. And that's when I started realizing, well, that's, that's gotta be the Peruvian, uh, filler in this coming, coming through. Um, and just, you know, I really wanted to, I want to open one of these cigars up and just look at the, and, and dissect it and just kind of look at the filler and just kind of, you know, just kind of burn them on their own, you know, just kind of roll them up a little bit and burn it and smoke it uh, as they do at the factories and things like that, uh, and just kind of go through that experience. Mm. Uh, but yeah, this, this stick for me, and I mean, it's, it's one of those ones where I definitely would, I, I want, I want to go back to and revisit, uh, you know, uh, for the rest of, you know, rest of my smoking uh, career, uh, for sure. But, really? Uh, it's that, so I, you, I, you uh, would you yeah, give it? Ahead. No, would uh, you box give Box rating? But yeah. 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 Uh, uh, box worthy. Uh, Stoke Geeks rating again. Uh, again, Cruz, uh, Monte Cristo, Via Noche, El Mundo, uh, 5 by 55 $12 stick. Can't go wrong. I'm so bummed that you're, you have a super high rating of that. I came across that stick when, when I was traveling in South Florida. And uh -huh. um, I, I, got a, was I got a good box price. And I was like, eh, uh, I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't know, and and I, I ended up going with some of the some of the boutique stuff that I took home, and I'm bummed now. <laughs> I'm super bummed. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna call them and and get them to ship some up here for sure. Cause for me to find yeah. that locally, yeah. pff, forget it. You know what I mean? Like I, I forget. I'll it. tell you, you want you, you want you want a box split one with me? Yeah. Why you ha you have access okay. to them? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, man, I I'll can send you, I can send you, I have an app, I can send you some money. Hey, look at that, right? Look at that. Awesome, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We got to, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, let, let, let's do a box split of that. If, if you're going with okay. that, yeah. Like, dude, it, it, okay. think about what you said. I wanted a freaking Zacto knife that shit and freaking smoke it. <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, whoa, I'm intrigued, <laughs> man. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, he's, he's, he's really, he's really into that one, so. You know, can tell yeah, by the way yeah. you're talking really, about it. Really you know got geeked I mean? that one. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you, you geeked I really out. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like uh, I was talking to I was talking to uh, Noel Noel Rojas uh, a few weeks ago, and he's so, uh, and he was just giving me a tip, and he was just like, you know, you, you really want to get into a cigar, uh, and you and you find out why you like it, and he goes dissect it, roll up the leaf, and and light it up, and and take, smoke it, and, and and see what what it is, and that'll really break up the the flavors uh you know and really hone in on what what's really dominant there yeah. so yeah i thought that was a cool little technique that he was telling me about so. actually we yeah. it's funny you bring you bring that uh i can check next door <coughs> over mm -hmm. at the, the havana cigar club they do a seminar i mean they haven't really done it in a while because they've done it a couple years in a row and so it's kind of lost its lackluster but Manuel and yeah. Noah uh, has a kit from La Aurora that has mm. you um, separate all the diff from the Preferito series, but you smoke mm -hmm. just the wrapper, just the the little mm -hmm. little. It's not it's smaller yeah. than a robusto, 
and there's a whole kit yeah. and I probably could get my hands on one of those and we could ship you one of those. It's a cool experience. I've actually yeah. done it. When I first started Story Geeks, Paul had uh, given that to myself and one of the other co-hosts who was here to um, start to dissect the cigars and go through the process of doing that in uh stogie geeks um i believe if you go back on the stogie geeks website um email me if you're interested i could try to dig up the episodes where uh paul and company actually go and and, and do that they did a whole series yeah. of that i i believe uh, it's it's still on our Story Geeks website, and um, I would venture to say if you can get your hands on one of these kits and you want to go through that, uh, email me at joehstorygeeks.com. I'll see if we can get some for you because Next Door has a great relationship with La Aurora. But then also take your own notes, and I actually in my black I have a black book for the year, so this would be for 2017 that year. Um, uh, t- taking notes, and then I went back on the Story Geeks uh video and re cat like reviewed my notes and their taste and notes, and it's a super cool project that that you can get into. So Story Geeks, if you're interested in that, Joe H at StoryGeeks dot com. I'll do some research and find those kits for you. I know they're lingering around. Um, there. Uh, I know the they don't break the bank re- retail wise comes in a, in a thing I believe it's called I'm I'm like 99.9 percent sure it's called light the legacy and it's a whole mm-hmm. series that they mm-hmm. did now back in the day um Havana cigars did an event with Manuel and Noah for that and you explained and he obviously was the blender so it's super, uh, super cool when you're smoking the cigar the separation of the wrapper binder filler um, from the different preferitos and having him describe it. It was, it was a great experience. I've done some of those too with uh, Jose Blanco, uh, who does his version of a blending seminar. His is, it's not yeah. a baba pole. It's just, it's just each wrapper goes up the stick and you, yeah. and as he talks through that, and then you have like 10 minutes on making time up, 10, 15 minutes, then you get into the next one and next one you can, and then he gives you uh uh, soda water or something like that to cleanse your palate and you take the blending yeah. seminar uh-huh. and it's just such a cool experience and and i mean you know I, I, shops m- locally might have done that around and maybe they've done their work around for 20 15 16 17 and like again it just lost its lackluster but i think they should bring it back right. you know pick yeah. another blend zach don't yeah. knife. No, I- zach don't knife that shit <laughs> yeah Exactly. No, and I yeah. yeah, I think for me the education for all you know any of the cigar uh, uh, geeks out there. I mean that's that's a that's a cool road to go in, down in Endeavor. And if you ever make it to South America, definitely the factories. When I what I've been what's shared with me, you do that there as well. And so you get to sit there or speak with the blender or you know maybe one of his associates and then and then walk you through that process. So definitely pretty cool. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm lucky enough here that I got this gentleman here, Noel Rojas here. He's got a, a, a factory here in Texas now. Yeah. Uh, so he's, yeah, he's invited us down uh, to come there. Uh, you know, he said that to help, he said to share that with you as well. Yeah. Uh, and he'd love, love to give us a, you know, a look over at his place. So. I am going to Texas is on my 2020 list to visit you uh, mm-hmm. there. We're, we're in the process of putting together. <laughs> our uh security <laughs> weekly yearly calendar uh so we're in yeah. the process of that and in between that i'm going down there i'm going also to the jc newman factory uh as well um did yeah. you see the thing i posted on twitter about jc newman it's, it's yeah. all over jc newman's thing where they found a a staircase and they made the local yeah. news and all yes. that the thing and 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 i think it's fascinating they took the sheetrock off the wall um, for those of yeah. you uh, don't know what I'm talking about, you can go to JC Newman's social media. It's all over that. Or you can follow me at Joe Hosempa uh, over on Twitter. I retweeted that there. And uh, it's super cool yeah. how they're going to keep the original wall of the clock tower in Ybor City. And, and uh, their renovations yeah. are expected to be done by February of 2020. And um, nice. I, I'm, I'm getting out there uh, as well. Um, down, down. We're, we're going to have to Batman and Robin, now I'm gonna join you on that one. 
That'll be the first time I'll physically meet you. I'm so excited then, maybe. Or if I go to That'd Texas. Awesome. I, I, I'm, I'm going, like, before. <laughs> I'm going before, like, April because, like, it's it gets cold around here. And, you know, I, oh, yeah. I, I could use 40-degree weather when it's 10 over here. <laughs> yeah. Get some, get some golfing in as well. Uh, the, there you go. There you go. Um, the final stick I want to review, and I believe you have one more, right? Yep. yep, cool. Yes, I do. The, the final stick I want to review is the La Flora Dominicana, La Flora Dominicana La Volcada. Say that ten times. La Flora Dominicana mm. La Volcada. This is a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, Ecuadorian Corojo binder, Dominican Republic filler. Well, that's weird. <laughs> How I re- literally mm. said something like we uh, have to, I'm just putting this together. I'm really not making that statement. That's very weird. Uh, maybe I subconsciously did it because of the guy. Honestly, I randomly picked sticks and said, "Let's talk. Let's do this." I'm having this, and I, and I went back in my notes, and <laughs> and that that that's how I do my sticks of the week. Uh, anyway, uh, ring gauge. Uh, uh I had a, a seven by forty-eight. It's available in twenty-count boxes. It's in regular production. Uh, in regards to the sizes of this cigar, I don't know. I'm lost. It's available in that size. That's why I'm lost, because there's no other sizes. There you go. It's a 7x48 Churchill. It's got a pigtail on it. I enjoy this smoke. What I'm excited to see is that a lot of the Northeast distribution for La Flora Dominicana and a lot of that turmoil has subsided. So... Uh, excited to see that shops are saying it's getting a lot easier to deal with La Florida Minicana up here. So that's super cool nice. uh, to, to see because I'm a fan of the brand. I just never collectively got into it because I just didn't feel like chasing um, there. But but they're getting yeah. readily available and they're shipping on a consistent basis uh, here in the Northeast. I don't know what that was all about, but it was a relevant um, problem for sure. It's a medium stick. Uh, you get a little bit of pepper. Um, you get a little bit of a of a of a lingering on 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 the tongue for, uh, for, uh, from the pepper uh, there. Mm. Um, I, if you retrohale, it's certainly a medium plus stick. Uh, there's no question uh, there. You're gonna get full flavor, some earthiness. Um, I don't know if it's the name La Volcada and it's making me think of like, you know, lava flowing and, and, and stuff like that. I don't know if it was great marketing. Uh, I, I put it up there with the Lenox for sure. It's one of those sticks. Mm. And, and I've always told my Lenox story, story geek. So I will yeah. bear you that, uh, but I think I've said it six times while Drew since Drew's been on, let alone, uh, in the past it's, it's up there. It's just got hints of red pepper in there. Um, but mm-hmm. the, but it kind of lingers on the tongue. It, if you retrohale, it's definitely medium to full. If you don't, you can get away with saying it's a medium uh, stick. But what I've noticed is that all the flavor there, that, that earthiness and that spiciness, it lingers on the palate. And when I mean linger on the palate, just commute-wise, I have a 45-minute commute each way to work, stop smoking it at work, go home, it's still on my palate. Brush my teeth, it's still on my palate. You know what I mean? It's like, wow. Like, you're like, wow, it, it's still there. So really strong yeah. um, component there. Uh, super enjoyable stick. I've, I've, I've had a bunch of these uh, for sure. And now since they're in regular, well, they've always been in regular production. But but now that they're uh, readily available here in the Northeast, I, I'd, I'd rate it up there with the Lenox. I would certainly be in that mm-hmm. box split, box worthy region, uh, box split with a friend. Um, there yeah. and, and 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 to me, the Artesian Bull, the La Volcada, and the uh, where was I going with this? The Lenox, yeah, Artesian Bull, Lenox, and La Volcada are separate from that La Flora Domina, that classic La Flora Dominicana taste. There, it's 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 just a different taste to me. Um, Th- they've upped their game in regards to the taste with 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 those selections. There you go. Mm. So I, I give it a box split. That's my final rating. Nice, nice. I gotta get my hands on some of the. I've 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 uh, the Lenox we have here, and I've yet to get in the, into that uh, 
uh, in those yet. Um, saving that for something, I don't know what, but I'm gonna have to get my hands on some of those and do it tomorrow and, morning. Uh, into those. Do it tomorrow uh, yeah. morning. That's a better day than any <laughs> other day, right? <laughs> yep. Or better yet, do it. I got a test Subaru down for service. Uh, I'll I'll do that at the lounge over oh, there. Or do it 38 <laughs> seconds after the show. That that'd be my choice. 38 seconds after the show. But if you want to have patience, go. wait till tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so my last stick, I I I oh I excuse had me, in... and, and before you do, make yourself an espresso if you're doing it in the morning. It pairs well. Not mm. a coffee, an espresso. Nice. All right, go ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, I I definitely get that. I have I have a nice Nespresso machine, so I love that thing. So I noticed on your pictures instant. on social media. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I got uh, I got into the Rocky Patel line, and uh, I'll tell you, I, it's not that I'm not a fan of Rocky Patel. It's not that I don't, you know, dis I dislike it or anything. I just, you know, when I when I hear the name, see the the offerings he's got, and here in our in our location, there's a lot there. And then, but I just really like really gravitated towards these. So when these came in uh, from IPCPR, uh, Nomi said, "Here, here's a box." take these and smoke them mm -hmm. so I said, okay so here so here we go so this thing is uh uh from the website i got it this this uh this stick is uh uh rolled in honduras uh from a tobacco blend that includes la harrow from the hamastron i hope i'm saying that correct hamastron valley of honduras i would have butchered it so fillers. <laughs> i'm going with you <laughs> <laughs> and a mix and a mix of fillers from uh Codega, uh Condega and Estelle uh Nicaraguan uh on Mattel's farms. So uh origin on this cigar is uh is a Honduras uh wrapper, Ecuadorian Habano. Uh it's kinda it's got a Colorado Maduro uh uh look to it, color. Uh uh binder Honduras, uh filler Honduras and Nicaragua. So mm. um so again, nice presentation steak. I mean, fancy looking band. I mean, it looks good, looks beautiful. Uh, you know, the, the stick itself looks well constructed. Uh, I had a six and a half by fifty two. So this one took me a little bit, uh, a little bit to to smoke. I'm going to say about an hour and twenty minutes for me, because uh, I really wanted to to experience Rocky Patel's uh, line uh, in this, uh, and it's called the LB, uh, which is a original factory code. Yep. Uh, uh, so that's, that's what means the OFC. Uh, so, uh, in Toro, uh, as I already said, uh, six and a half by two, uh, stick price, uh, about nine fifty here in Texas. Uh, not sure where they're at in your region, but about nine, nine fifty. Yeah. It's uh, about that. Yeah. They're, they're in that 10 or 11, like, like, yeah. 10, so, you 10, know, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you right now, the so geeks rating I guess was a fiver. Uh, and, and my, for anything, just just you know, try five of them. I mean, I, I, the cigar is nice. I mean, it's it's got uh, uh, it's got pepper for sure. I mean, it, it's got it's got that spicy component there. Uh, the uh, earthiness coming through in the first uh, first third of it. Uh, a little bit of toasted almonds starts to it starts to graduate into toasted almonds, uh, and then and then get into the coffee factor. Not 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 an espresso, but a coffee. Uh, so a little bit on the lighter side on on that uh creamy uh got into a little bit of the creaminess the almonds i'm thinking uh even though i did say toasted uh a few seconds ago uh but i was just trying to figure out what that creamy uh component was and so i i, I attributed to to an almonds uh there uh cedar for sure comes through on that 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 second third and then uh it just starts to really uh it smokes so this cigar is another one is it, it does smoke <laughs> uh quite a bit uh and it and it's it's sweet uh it's a sweet uh, aroma that comes through uh and then and then from there it just starts to finish up on the spicy on the spicy side and i wasn't sure because i wasn't i was at that last third i was like looking at the stick i'm like wow i still got a way to go mm. and so i, I started to kind of uh what i call hot box it <laughs> i start rushing it you know uh and i started to but and then I, when i noticed it getting a little bit hot uh, I started to slow down, you know, just kind of put myself back in that uh, environment of, hey, this is a this is a review, so let me just kick it down a notch and, and relax and, and enjoy it. Uh, so I've had four of these sticks, and uh, it, it all of it uh, for me. The rating came back to to being a fiber, mm. uh, uh, but yeah, definitely it's a it's a stick for 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 people that I think that 
uh, would like the medium. Uh, it, you know, um, it, the only reason why I border full to me is a little bit of that pepperness that comes through, uh, pretty, pretty strong there at times. But other than that, uh, I, I would say it for me, it was a medium, uh, uh stick, uh, me. Mm. Have you had the Have you had the chance to endeavor down? Rocky no, Jones I'm actually I I, I took your uh, stick and threw it on Rocky Patel's website, and I I, I like to follow along with you uh, uh-huh. there. And <laughs> a couple of things that I've noticed. <laughs> this is another discussion. Uh, the uh, no, we'll, we'll we'll stick to the subject. Um, it, it it's part of the new. If you go to RockyPatel.com. Click on new. You go to cigars. There's section. They have their full portfolio, uh-huh. top rated cigars, which usually often make the show anyway. Uh, and then their yeah. their new cigars and um, the Liberation, the LB1 you were talking about, and the second edition is uh, is 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 their newest uh, line. Um, I have not. I have not. Mm-hmm. I, it, uh, when it comes to Rocky and me, uh, I am a uh edge candela mm-hmm. i am a edge habano or a um decade uh yeah. just you know what i mean he's got a lot in his portfolio uh yeah what i'm looking here at and which it- is starting to pique my interest is i'm looking at they have a special reserve sun grown maduro so i'm interested mm-hmm. in finding that one um the rocky patel special reserve Sun Grown Maduro. I've been on the Sun uh, the, there. Um, I've had the vintage 203 yeah. Cameroon. These are, I'm in the top yeah, rated the section mm-hmm. now. I'm in the top rated section now. So, yeah. again, RockyPatel.com. Go to top rated cigars. Obviously, number one on their list is Decade. No question. Uh, no other time yeah. in my experience, 25 years now, cigars retail side. Uh, no other time in my experience in 25 years that there was a limitation on a cigar other than Opus X. And what I mean by that is you can only buy two when you walk mm-hmm. in was yeah. Opus X, any Opus X, but Opus X and Rocky Patel Decade. When it first came out, they were yeah. really limited uh, there. So uh, I, I, I result back. I, I go back to a decade. Um, uh, yeah. Often in my rotation, for sure. Every once in a while, I throw it in there for a Story Geeks review at least once a year or something like that. I, I, I give it right. the same rating. It's solid. Uh, it's a solid rating, although it's subs- blend subsided, in my opinion. I don't know if my palate developed or if the blend is going a little lesser. I like to say the blend is yeah. going a little lesser, but, you know, because yeah. I don't know. They, there was just something that, like, really threw me back. When that stick first came out, as well as others, obviously, because of what 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 sure. what what has happened. That's one of those things, you know. I wasn't even yeah. uh, at Cigar Club Radio or Story Geeks at that time reviewing sticks uh, there. At that time, mm. I used to sit with the shop owner, which is obvious that I had a little bit of Stogie geeking in me, uh, for sure. Um, is I used to sit with the shop owner of different shops and tell them what I like and what I don't like. And we, we'd have conversations just like this back and forth. I was mispronouncing names then. Yeah. They were correcting me then, right? <laughs> uh, uh, there. Uh, you'd think after 25 years I, I would, uh, you know, uh, be able to pronounce that. But as long as I can pronounce Corojo yeah. and Araparaca, I'm good, right, I think, okay. and, uh, for sure. <laughs> uh, but, you know, i go for it yeah. um, there. But, um, yeah, the decade there, I've, I've had the 15th anniversary. I've never had the 50. I'm interested in the Sun Grown. I've had the Royale. Yeah. I've had the Edge Habano. Those, that's top rated. Um, I've had the Vintage Yeah, the Edge, camera, right? Edge Habano. Yep. They, Edge Habano, a couple of my couple of, uh, lounge uh, members here have told me, get into those for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. They call they called the, the cop, but they're talking about decade. Uh, for sure. So uh-huh. I'm going to get into some of those because I've already, I've already got some of the humidor uh, for some of my sticks of the morning, uh, you know, to 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 post those. But uh, it's a phenomenal yeah, stick I think for in me, the morning. Like it, it, it's a phenomenal yeah. stick anytime. But the Rocky Patel decade is is awesome. Yeah, I was. Uh, I think for me, I, you know, like anytime I go to any brick and mortar shop, I see uh, I see the Java and I see Rocky Patel, and it's weird because it's like. I'm not sure if that's 
if that's like are they categorizing as a as a sweet aromatic you know and, and i've been to 10 brick and mortars in the last few weeks and i've noticed that and i'm like hmm. and i think that's why like i was telling me here i was like you know what maybe we should break these up a little bit and move mm-hmm. them over here uh because i think as a consumer for me that's probably why i shot away from because i think you know nub is very you know uh the javas you know from uh those those are all flavored so i guess i was thinking that those were that as well mm-hmm. but uh I, I've been wrong. As my, no, uh, that, that, cool. that's a good my, point for a future episode for sure. And I think next time we get a retailer on, we might want to make a show note uh, of asking them, you know, uh, you know, uh, yeah. how, uh, how do you organize your humidor? You know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I've, I've spoken to, and I could go off for another half hour on this, I've, I've spoken to to retail shops about organizing and, and how do they organize the humidor and whatnot. And some have a method to their madness. Some don't. Mm-hmm. Some just, you know, place yeah. them all remotely close together. Uh, others are playing Tetris. <laughs> when, when, yeah. when, 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 when they get like six new lines and they want to put them all in a row. So then they're playing Tetris with the other ones and moving it up. So like, like, you know, the Rocky Patel could be uh, vertical and then maybe the Podomo is horizontal. Yeah. And, and, and there's really no, they, 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 you know, some play yeah. Tetris, you know what I mean? Uh, some don't. And, and, yeah. and, and yeah. others do have a methodology. So yeah, that's a good question that we should, we should consider that yeah, sh- for sure. Yeah. That's what, that's what Nomi was telling me about that he goes yeah i have to do that because of the shelf talkers you know all these you know a lot of these uh cigars that come with shelf talkers now so you give out you know this immediate information so he goes you know so that's that's just where they fit at the time (laughs) i go to a shop (laughs) that has shelf talk (laughs) i go to a shop that has shelf talkers on like four boxes Uh... right and the rest of those, yeah. and, and those are because those are the partners that, that really help him. Like, you know, if he's doing an uh-huh. event for charity or someone calls and wants to do a golf tournament oh, or man. he's doing a pig roast and whatever, whatever. Like the, 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 the reps sure. or the manufacturers that help him accomplish whatever fundraising goal or whatever he's trying to do, right? They, they, have, they have some companies that are willing right. to help and some that are not. The ones that help are in the bag. The ones that don't are yeah. on the shelf. Got it, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, you know what he does with the rest of the shelf talk is he keeps he keeps them on the all the way at the end of the bar like a stack stack of shelf talkers. So it's like if people ask him, he's like, I don't know, it's so a shelf talk. I was like, dude, that is awesome. That is that is a way to go. That is it's a way to go. Like you yeah. know what I mean? You know, the ones that help me are the ones that start, they get the shelf talkers because the shelf talkers some of them can get in the way. They can go over the box and and cut over into the side of the other box, and it can get kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Um, oh, yeah. yeah, you know what yeah, I noticed, and I kind of, I kind of chuckled on the Rocky Patel website. I have, I have to bring this up. Like this is, I, I, I yeah. cannot bring this up. They, <laughs> they have. If you go to RockyPatel.com, they have a list of unauthorized retailers <laughs> who are selling oh, yeah, Rocky yeah. Patel. Yeah, yeah. And, and dude, this yeah. is awesome. This is, this is a conversation. I am reaching out to Rocky Patel. And I want an answer. I, I think this is amazing that this is even the, like unauthorized. And then when you click on it, right? I actually was a little. I was like, yeah. this got to be like some kind of like a j- j- joker or, or something like that, right? So when you go to unauthorized retailers, yeah. it says one. And please be advised, the website retailers listed below are not authorized to carry Rocky Patel or accessories, and then it lists them wow. out. Uh, uh, I'm 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 so intrigued. <laughs> I am completely intrigued to uh yes find out what the heck that's all about. I mean, I know what it's all about, but like how long has that yeah. been on there and that is uh, uh, I think um um business-wise it's, it's it's fascinating. Yeah, it's it's fun. yeah, now that I'm reading it right now, I'm like like oh, no, as retailers warning <laughs> <laughs> right i'm like uh, and, and it's funny thing as you were talking about it and i was r- looking up your stick on the, on the website i, I kind of chuckled on yeah. that you know what i mean you know but yeah uh, <laughs> wow. that's crazy that's crazy so <laughs> I, I just thought it was uh kind of cool so anyway story geeks listening Brand inconsistency br- yeah, well i mean you know he 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 is um very good at branding does a lot for the industry, mm-hmm. uh, and oh, yeah. um, 
you know, uh, Rocky Patel, the company, is not yeah. his first rodeo. And, and you know, if you just a little bit of hit, a history on that, you know, he, uh, he launched a stick and it didn't obviously do as well as Rocky Patel. And then mm-hmm. now he, he's in every, uh, all publications doing all things. And, oh, yeah. and, uh, and he's been on mainstream media as well um, with, with uh, you know, articles on FDA and stuff like that. And then even, um, you know, like the, uh, the money show, like MSNBC that does stocks and whatnot. Actually, yeah. they, did a, they, they had a series of different companies, and, and he was one of the features for Premium Cigars and, and, and talked about that. Yeah, I like, think I saw that. It's like it's like business owners yeah, who I started know. something, and it didn't go so hot and then became hot. It was like that series that they yeah. did, and Rocky yeah. Patel was, was, was one of the regulars on, on the rotation. It's a fascinating episode. You know what I mean? I think it's super cool that, oh, wow, the premium cigars. That's so that's so crazy. You know what I mean? That, that That's on, you know? Uh, anyway, yeah. uh, I want to remind the Story Geeks listeners that we keep the conversation going all week long. Uh, we can do that uh, on Facebook.com forward slash Story Geeks. Don't forget, you can also email Drew, Drew at StoryGeeks.com or me, Joe H, at StoryGeeks.com. If you missed any podcast, make sure you go to the website and you can uh, be able to catch up uh on that drew anything else you want to say as i take us out no we're good everybody a weekend we'll see you uh see you next week for sure absolutely i want to remind you that behind every cigar there's a story worth knowing get out there and shop local and visit your local shops and also everything is bigger in texas except for the internet story geeks we will see you next time